Freed. I am a Paralympic athlete competing for Great Britain, and I was a silver medalist in the long jump at the London 2012 Paralympics. I grew up uh, just absolutely loving sports. As long as I can remember, I've just loved running, I've loved competition, I've just loved being really physical. And then when I was 12, I was introduced to rugby and absolutely fell in love. It was my life's dream to, to play internationally. And then um, when I was 15, you know, just in one, one afternoon, everything just changed we uh, had decided to go tubing, which is where you attach a big inner tube to the back of a motorboat and you know you just go at crazy fast speeds. I had fallen off and, and I was just hanging out in the water waiting to get picked back up again. I looked for the boat and um, I saw it heading towards me and I just realized, you know, they do not see me. He is going way too fast. I tried to surface dive, just completely forgetting I had a life jacket on. The propellers caught me on my, my right leg and, and my lower back and um, you know, it, was, it wasn't good. Um, I mean, I could see in everyone's face that, you know, there was just too much blood. I mean, I was terrified. I, I knew in my heart that if I had died at that moment, I, I wasn't going to heaven. And so they took me to um, a local clinic um, that couldn't do very much for me. My mom walked into the recovery room and I just, I just, she was so sad, I just didn't understand. And she walked over to me and said, you know, Stephanie, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but the doctors did everything they could to, to save your leg, but unfortunately they had to amputate. And I was absolutely devastated. The hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life is change my attitude in that moment. I can look at the situation, yes, it's crappy, but I can either um, accept it and make the best of it, or I can choose to be angry. And I remember, you know, just one day, just, just coming to terms with it and deciding that, you know what, I'm going to give the creator of the world the benefit of the doubt and just trust that, um, you know, he can, he can do something with this. And I prayed for the first time, just a really true and honest prayer. And, and I just remember being in that hospital room and it was just so strange to, on the one hand, have so much anger and frustration at the same time just to feel, like actually feel in that room, God's love and God's peace. And, and that was my starting point. And, um, you, you know, I just decided, well, you know, if, if this is it, then that's okay. I'm gonna, you know, I'm still competitive and um, I'm just gonna walk the best that, that I can. And then that later translated into, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the best that I can. It's just so amazing how, um, you know, in so many ways, God gave me back my dream, but just on this way bigger scale than, than I'd ever imagined. I mean, for those of you that watch Olympics or Paralympics, I mean, the crowd support in that stadium was absolutely insane. I mean, there were, um, the minute they announced your name, um, if you were British, just 80,000 people erupted cheering for you, and it was a really special moment. I had won silver in the long jump. I'd had a really poor showing in the 100 meter final, finishing eighth, and so the 200 was kind of you know, the last chance to, to, I guess, redeem myself or lay on the line. Gosh, just the pressure is so much to perform every day. But just to come out um, of all of that and to produce um, a lifetime best performance when it, when it mattered most, uh, it's just, it's an awesome feeling. And what God said to me was, Stephanie, I want you to know that when you're on that start line and when those 80,000 people cheer for you, that is how much I love you. I'm not the same person I was um, before that accident. I mean, the things that I have learned because of it, um, you know, my relationship with God, I mean, it, it literally changed me as a person. You know, I'm at a point now, I was, it wasn't always like this, but at a point now, I'm really comfortable with the leg. I think it's really cool. Obviously, if I had the choice, I would love to have my real foot back. It's a great mystery as to, you know, why things happen to people or why God chooses um, you know, for situations to unfold as they do, but um, I've just learned to trust God, and, and no matter what, um, I know that He is good, and I've learned to be thankful for everything because I know that God can can work miracles with any situation.